Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you about my WeatherTech window deflectors. Welcome back and thanks for being here. It is too hot to shoot outside so I'm going to tell you about my deflectors from inside. I originally bought and installed my window deflectors back in April and uh, the sound on that recording was all messed up. And I, I just didn't get around to redoing it and just didn't feel like it and decided I was going to just use these deflectors and check them out and see what I thought. And now I guess I can tell you I'm kind of giving a long-term review. I really didn't intend to buy the window deflectors as a fashion statement or maybe so I can drive around with my windows cracked. I'm, I'm not really much of a windows down kind of person. But you may recall that I have a rather large ham radio antenna uh, link up here. It's... Um, I started experimenting with that on the roof, and so I needed a way to get um, cables, both control cables and transmission cables, up to the roof. And I, I sure I could have gone out through the hatch, I suppose, but I wanted to minimize my exposed cable. I think you know that I like to hide things. So I had concocted this way to run the cables through the roof rack itself, and then I just needed to find a way to get it into the car. And so I got the window deflectors so that I'd be able to run the cables in through the glass. That was my original purpose for buying these window deflectors. And then it turned out that I abandoned the rooftop mounting location for the antenna and moved it back to the hitch. And then I suddenly had no purpose for the window deflectors. I decided to keep using them because I wanted to check them out and see if I liked them. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you what I think of them. First, I'll just say that uh, installing them was not that hard. It's almost intuitive. The, uh, the front ones, I will say, um, there's a sticker right on them that says that the front edge needs to be on the outside of the weather stripping. And so the intuitive part, I suppose, is I wanted to take that, that flat edge of the deflector and lay it flat on the... Um, the weather stripping and it just wasn't working that way because it would slip in and then when you roll the window down it would slip down like this and it would get it wouldn't get stuck in the glass but it just wouldn't stay up where it was supposed to be and what I later learned is um, when you put it in and you let it rest naturally it's going to cross a little bit like this I'll share a picture for you so you can check it out and with it crossed like that Kind of that, that leading edge is at an angle now, resting on top of the weather strip. And with it like that, it will not slip into the uh, the window channel, and it works much better. So uh, that's what it means when it says that the deflector needs to be outside of the weather strip. The back glass, um, somewhere in there, I wound up cracking one of the uh, one of the tabs on one end of it. And I honestly don't know if I cracked it because I overextended it or if it was already defective, but it just didn't matter at that point. It, the crack was in a place that was barely a problem. There was still two-sided tape holding it together. That reminds me, the back ones have two-sided tape on them. And so uh, you can get them up in there and maneuver them around a little bit, but then what happens is once these window deflectors are installed, you roll up the windows and you let them set like that for at least 24 hours and that's on especially if it's cold I think you really got to let them set for maybe a couple days if it's hot out then sure roll up the windows and leave them for 24 hours and that tape will hold and be fine and I think it also uses that opportunity to maybe form the plastic a little bit especially if it's hot outside I'm not sure about that my overall thoughts of them um, Yes, if you drive around in the rain with your windows cracked, they will keep rainwater out. If you like to crack your windows on hot days to keep the heat from building up in your car, yes, they do allow that to happen. The window deflectors do make a little bit of noise at highway speeds. It's not, it's not terrible. It's just something that, that I can barely hear. It's kind of similar to... Um, well, whenever I was experimenting with the ham radio antenna and trying to weigh how much noise one thing was making over another, and also the Yakima roof rack, some of the noise that I was hearing and blaming on the rack might have actually been the window deflectors because they do make just a tiny bit of noise. I kind of don't like it, but it hasn't been so awful that I have to remove them. 
And realistically, I don't drive around with my windows cracked very often. I don't leave my windows cracked when I'm at work. I just roll the windows down and let the gush of heat out when I'm ready to drive. And so uh, I bought these window deflectors for the ham radio project. Now I no longer have a need for them. So I think I'm going to take them off. But I will still say that the build quality is excellent. The fit is excellent. They look good and they function. I just don't know that they're for me. So I'll just leave it at that. You decide for yourself whether or not you want to give them a shot, whether or not they work out for you. Let me know if you have these window deflectors and what you think of them. Comment below if there's something that I may have missed and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for being here and I will see you next time. Take care.